In this video, we will prove an identity that is cosecant hyperbolic square x is equal to cot hyperbolic square x minus 1. Now coming towards its proof, we will firstly take its right hand side which is equal to cot hyperbolic square x minus 1. We know that cot hyperbolic x is equal to e raised to power x plus e raised to power minus x divided by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x. Now we will substitute this value and get e raised to power x plus e raised to power minus x divided by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square minus 1. It can also be written as e raised to power x plus e raised to power minus x whole square divided by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square minus 1. Now we will take its LCM that is e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square and in the numerator there will be e raised to power x plus e raised to power minus x whole square minus e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square. For these two terms we will use the formulas a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab and a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. By using these formulas we can write the terms in the numerator as e raised to power 2x plus e raised to power minus 2x plus 2 e raised to power x into e raised to power minus x minus e raised to power 2x plus e raised to power minus 2x minus 2 times e raised to power x into e raised to power minus x divided by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square. We can rewrite it as e raised to power 2x plus e raised to power minus 2x plus 2 times e raised to power x into e raised to power minus x minus e raised to power 2x minus e raised to power minus 2x plus 2 times e raised to power x into e raised to power minus x divided by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square. This term will be cancelled out by this one and this will be cancelled out by this one and we are left with 2 times e raised to power x into e raised to power minus x plus 2 times e raised to power x into e raised to power minus x divided by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square. We know that we can write e raised to power x into e raised to power minus x equal to e raised to power x minus x which is equal to e raised to power 0 and e raised to power 0 is equal to 1. By using this we can write 2 times e raised to power x minus x plus 2 times e raised to power x minus x divided by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square which is equal to 2 times e raised to power 0 plus 2 times e raised to power 0 divided by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square. Since we know that e raised to power 0 is equal to 1, so we can rewrite it as 2 times 1 plus 2 times 1 divided by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square. And it can also be written as 4 divided by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square. 
let it be named as equation number 1 now we will take its left hand side which is equal to cosecant hyperbolic square x we know that we can write it as 1 by sine hyperbolic square x and sine hyperbolic x is equal to e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x divided by 2. By replacing the value of sine hyperbolic x we get 1 by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x divided by 2 whole square. It can also be written as 1 by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square divided by 2 square which is equal to 1 by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square divided by 4 which is equal to 4 divided by e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x whole square. Let it be named as equation number 2. From equation 1 and equation 2, we have cosecant hyperbolic square x is equal to cot hyperbolic square x minus 1 which is the required proof